although Tony Abbott announced that S's had nothing to do with an agreement with the First Nations. Although the Prime Minister had previously supported, Anthony released Arnavut. However, last year, video from the oil concert in Sydney at midnight, video showing that he was wearing t-shirt with the words, sound, treaty, truth, appeared. The expression of Uluru from heart, in which Prime Minister constantly committed to, full, implementation, proposes a local voice to Parliament, an agreement with First Nations and a narrative of truth. Prime Minister Anthony Arbanese was caught in October last year wearing sound. Real. Treaty T-shirt. Resim Daily Mail. Despite the consistent government messaging, he returned to Mr. Albania because he denied the existence of a treaty plan. Abbott said in a statement on Monday, the first thing he won election was accept country and to fully repeat his devotion statement of labor government. In other words, sound, treaty, real, he said, I think should have made an instant amnesia attack when he sat on this chair last week and said that the agreement has nothing to do with it because it has clearly had to do with the agreement. If activists are to be believed, the whole aim of having a voice is to start treaty process. And government ministers said a lot. One of the concerns about a treaty is the risk of taxpayers to pay compensation or compensation to domestic communities. Former Prime Minister Tony Abbott argued strongly against a voice to Parliament. However, when asked questions about statements made by members of referendum study group like Thomas Mayo, who claimed that sound was first step in paying compensation, Mr. Albania escaped from any connection with referendum and agreement. No, I cannot say clearly. The government has committed to establish a commission of a Dakarata. As recommended in the expression of the heart, the commission is designed lead processes of making treaties and describing the truth. And Labour Party undertakes more than 8 million to establish a body as part of a $27 million commitment implement its declaration. Mr. Abbott claimed the domestic advisory organ became a vocal opponent and that Australia would see it was divided by the race or race. Everyone has same sound in the national parliament and now there are 11 indigenous people in national parliament, said. Let's keep a very good voice for these indigenous people and the national parliament as a single voice for all of us. Instead, he proposed domestic recognition in the constitution, which claimed that he pushed it for the prime minister. Mr. Abbott said that he was rolling Olorak as a leader before he had opportunity to force constitutional recognition and said that coalition was side by Uluru statement after leaving.